the fun is really the thinking of new ideas. It's, that's what's really exciting. I have lots of ideas and I get very frustrated when people don't understand my ideas instantly and take them up. <laughs> A lot of my work's been in breast cancer and I've realised that we can learn more about a woman's risk of breast cancer from looking at her mammogram than looking at her DNA. But the future will be understanding what you're at risk for and then working out what's the best thing to do about those diseases rather than everyone being treated as if they're all at equal risk of everything. During my PhD at La Trobe, I realised that I could get the computer to make up for my weakness in mathematical knowledge and do things much more clever than me and quicker. It seemed to be cheating. All my other colleagues were brighter than me. They could work it out in their heads. I was just using the computer to get the answer, but it turned out I got a better answer. I would sit there for hours trying different models and then I would wander out to the car park and I'd get close to my car and I'd suddenly realise a new idea, so I'd turn around and go back to the office. <laughs> and try again. My passion in my 20s was hockey. Managing a research team is a bit like managing a hockey club. There are many people performing different roles and they all have to combine together and be respected. For example, if you don't have a good goalkeeper in a hockey club, <laughs> you're not going to win many games. At La Trobe, I got to apply mathematics and statistics to real data. <laughs> I think that's really what did spark me and made me want to have a career in medical research because I could now do things and I realised I had a skill at doing things that actually worked. You keep on thinking, thinking about how can you do better, what other opportunities are there. The most important thing about our research is, you know, can it, does it, will it make a difference? Are you saving lives?